Okay, welcome to this highlights video from a recent 1-3 no limit cash game at Genting Fountain Park in Edinburgh. This game has been running for 2-3 to three hours at this point as we start the video. The minimum buy-in is 50 big blinds here, so £150, uh, yeah, £150 and there is no maximum buy-in. Barry in seat 8 player is the big these the button and Thomas small blind Martin big blind in seat one there. That's me by the way. Looks like Varun has limped in under the gun with three four of clubs for three pounds. Action now on seat six Gavin with pocket queens. He has made it fifteen. Gary in seat 7 calls the 15 in position with ace jack offsuit. We have Thomas here in the small blind with ace king of hearts. He has 3 bet to £55. Baron folds and it's back to Gavin with his queens. It's 40 more for him to call right now, which he does electing not to four bet the queens. Gary comes along as well, so we have about 170 in the pot. Flop comes down 6-4 deuce with two clubs. Thomas will be first to act, as he was in the small blind pre-flop. He's also got the lead from being the three better. He's fired a bet on the flop. It looks like 135. Could be 115 or 135 there. The pink chips are 100. Greens 5. Blacks 25. Action on Gavin with the queens here. And seed 6. He's raised it looks like about 340, 335, so Thomas is about 135, Gavin makes it 335 approximately, so about 200 more to Thomas. Gavin, uh, Gary in seat 7 quickly folded his ace jack, so we're heads up, action back on Thomas. Thomas and Gavin know each other very well, so they'll, they'll know how the other play, the, the each, the each play, and they've also, up until this point in this particular session, they've played two or three big pots together, uh, with Gavin winning, winning the bigger ones and getting the best of Thomas so far. In one of those hands, they both flopped flushes. Thomas with the nut flush, but Gavin turned a straight flush and won a decent pot from him there. They're both very deep stacked at this point too. I'd say they were at least 400 big blinds effective. So over a thousand to twelve hundred pounds each. Thomas really thinking this one over. He does have the two over cards and the backdoor flush draw. Guess he's wondering if he can take Gavin off his hand, or also if it's worth just calling. Nope, he decides to fold, and Gavin takes this one down. Okay, next hand Thomas is on the button in seat 9, Martin there in seat 1 with the small blind and Varun the big blind in seat 3. <coughs> First to act will be Stuart in seat 4. 
he folds quickly. Richard in seat 5 has Jack Queen of Clubs and makes it £10. Called quickly by Gavin in 6. It looks like Gary in seat 7 with the 6 8 offsuit has 3 bet the pot. Can't see exactly how much. It's folded round to the blinds. Martin folds and I think Varun has actually 4 bet here with the King 7 of hearts. Perhaps suspecting Gary is up to something. Correctly in this case. Not quite sure of the exact amounts, but it looks like definitely um, Gary was a three better and we're in four bet from the blind there. Gary is thinking this one over. I think Varun's got four or five hundred pounds at this point, and it appears Gary has folded, and Varun takes that one down with a nice move. Okay, Varun on the button here with Richard and Gavin in the blinds. Gary folds under the gun. Barry raises from the button with 10 jack offsuit. Looks like about 10. Richard calls a 10 from the small blind with ace 9. So we're heads up to the flop, which is Ace King Eight with two spades, Richard with top pair, and Barry with the gut shot. Now it looks like Richard has checked to Barry and he's C bet the ten jack. About twenty pounds. Richard calls with top pair. Ah, the turn is a nice card for Barry here. He's made the nut straight. Richard checks to Barry. And Barry fires a bet with the nuts here. Richard thinking about what to do with this top pair. He did have the ace of spades, but he didn't pick up a spade on the turn for his backdoor flush possibility. I don't think Richard has much left here. It appears that he has check raised all in, actually drawing dead on the turn there, and uh, Barry quickly called. And the Ten of Hearts on the river didn't change anything, and Barry takes his stack. I'm not sure how much Richard had there. It could have been 150, maybe 200 at most. So it looks like Richard is on the button and reloading for the next hand. Barry stacking his winnings there. Supervisor Nicky watching the game in the background there. Okay, Barry's got two black queens here in the small blind. Looks like Martin has raised with pocket sevens from seat one. A call from Stuart with the deuce four of hearts in seat four. Gary also calling from the button with ace four offsuit. And I think Barry has three bet this time from the blinds, from the small blind with his queens. Action on Martin in seat one. I think the stack sizes are not great for set many here, so. 
the Martin decides to fold. Barry takes this one down preflop with the Queens. Okay, Barry on the button this time, Thomas and Martin in the blinds. Stuart in seat four, or, or sorry, Varun in seat three will be first to act. Oh, Martin has pocket tens here in the big blind. Stuart has opened to probably his usual £12 from seat 4 with King Queen offsuit. Gary has pocket 6s and is called I believe. Martin decides to 3 bet here. Looks like about forty pounds, I believe. Action on Stuart with the King Queen, who was the initial raiser. He folds. Guy has sixes here and will probably call to try and catch a flop. he does. So we have about £95 in the pot here. The effective stacks are quite low. Martin has well a bit less than 100 big blinds here. Flop ace-king-3 with two diamonds. Martin bets I believe 85 here even though he hasn't connected with the flop and it's probably his worst nightmare. He doesn't want to give the initiative to Gary and looks like Gary's folded. Martin takes this one down. Supervisor Nicky in the background there giving a shrug of the shoulders about something there. We have Baroon in the big blind here. Okay, Stuart's under the gun with King 10. Seat 4. Right. It looks like he's made it 6 or it was a very late straddle. But Richard has made it 15 with pocket 9s immediately after that. And Thomas also folds. Baroon is in a big blind. He takes takes the flop for 15 with king 4 of hearts. And Stuart puts in the 9 extra with his king 10. Three handed to the flop. Okay, it comes down 3-3 three, three deuce with two... No, 3-3 three, three deuce rainbow in this case. Both players check to Richard who is the pre-flop raiser and still has the over pair and best hand here. Nice and easy, he takes it down with no no contest from the other two in this case. Nicky giving another shrug of the shoulders there and doing his what can I do hand gestures while having a chat with the players about something. It's very unusual in my experience for poker players to be complaining about something. Very unusual indeed. Ok, 
Okay, Button is on Martin for this next hand with Varun and Stuart in the blinds. Richard will be first to act. Richard limps in for three pounds under the gun with Jack Queen suited. Gary in seven limps in also with the Queen ten. Martin is on the button seat one here with six deuce. And it looks like he's made it sixteen here. Attempting to punish the limpers and take it take the initiative in the pot. Varun calls quickly with pocket threes, Richard calls with his Jack Queen suited and Gary also calls. So we've got £65 approximately in this pot, which comes down 965 rainbow. Everyone checks to the preflop raiser on the button, Martin, and it looks like he's fired a bet there. Two folds so far, and action is on Gary with the Queen 10. Martin has hit a pair of sixes and does have the best hand, although he may not realise that. And amazingly, he takes it down. One for the good guys there. It looks like we have a full table of nine players now. Gavin on the button for this hand. Looks like Stuart's going to open to about 12 with pocket twos. Gavin has ace 8 and has thrown in a black chip for 25. I'm not sure if he's raised it there. Yep, it looks like he has raised it to 25. And Stuart calls. We're heads up to the flop. Which comes down 6-4 six, six, with two spades. Stuart checks and Gavin fires a continuation bet, which is immediately called there by Stuart. Turn is the nine of diamonds. And it's checked through. River the four of diamonds, which counterfeits Stuart's pocket deuces. He fires a, a bet there as a bluff. Now Gavin has the best hand with ace high, sixes and fours with the ace high. He decides to look Stuart up and he's good. Fortunate river card for Gavin there. But, but he made the right decision to call on the river. We have Gary on the button this hand in seat 7.
Okay, all folding so far. Next we have Gavin in seat 6 with the 910 offsuit. He opens for £10. Immediately called there by Gary in 7 with the A6. Barry also takes the flop from the small blind with the Jack Queen. We are three handed to the flop. Which is Ace King 5 with two hearts. Barry checks. Gavin fires a continuation bet of about £20 there. With no pair, no draw. Two calls. Gary calls with the A6 top pair and Barry calls with the gut shot. Barry has picked up a pair now with the Queen of Hearts bringing the flush draw in on the turn. That's improved Gavin's hand actually. Barry checks. Gavin now has a 10 high flush draw and the gut shot. So we need a heart or a jack. He keeps firing. It looks like 35 or 40 pounds there. Or it could be closer to 60. Action on Gary with the A6. Seat 2 graphic, graphic is showing there, but he was out of the hand pre flop. Both other players fold here, and Gavin takes, takes it down with a, firing a second barrel on the turn there when he picked up a decent card. Okay, Barry and seat 8 on the button here. Stuart limps in with ace 4. Richard also limps with pocket 6s. Gary limps with the ace 4. Barry has pocket 9s here. And I think that he's raised it to about £20. Barry's on the button with nines, he gets three calls with two ace fours and pocket sixes. Four handed to the flop now. Which comes down jack five deuce with a flush draw. So we should have just over eighty pounds in the pot here. The three players check to Barry who fires a continuation bet. He does have the best hand here as we can see. One fold. Two folds. The ace board does have a gut shot. Gary decides to peel one off. Heads up now. Ten of clubs on the turn. Doesn't look like it would improve anyone's hand. Gary checks the body, who checks back his names. Jack of spades on the river. Perhaps Gary could pick this one up with a bet here. Although it seems likely that Barry would look him up. Yeah, Gary decides to check. And Barry checks back his pocket nines and wins the pot. Well, thanks for watching that highlights video of our recent 1-3 game. Don't forget to check out pokernedinburgh.com.